Toronto Star's investigative reporter Kevin Donovan has never been one to shy away from scandal and his new book out today looks at the recent and prolific scandal of Gian Gomeshi. Secret Life, the Gian Gomeshi investigation traces the radio host downfall and explores the abuse scandal while providing a behind the scenes look at the months long investigation by Donovan. Kevin Donovan is joining me now from downtown Toronto. Kevin, good morning. Thanks for being with us. And good morning. Many Canadians may have thought this story was over after Gian Gomeshi was acquitted last March. Is there more to tell? I think there is. Uh, the story details uh, uh, the information we got from 17 women and two men who uh, tell stories that are uh, in some cases similar and others remarkably different from what we heard in the trial. Uh, it also raises uh, issues of uh, uh, the lack of reporting of, uh, of allegations of sexual violence and the importance of this national conversation where uh, people have got to stop being uh, secretive about this and bring these, uh, these incidents forward. There was concern uh, among the men and women that you interviewed that their identities would remain private. How were you able to do that and still tell a story? There were a couple of, uh, of women who were quite concerned about that. These are uh, people who had already told their stories, uh, certainly to me and, and to other media. Uh, in, in, in writing the book and, and, uh, uh, and the editing process, uh, we went to great pains to make sure that uh, their identities are not revealed. Uh, and uh, as I say, that uh, you know, it would take uh, much more than Sherlock Holmes to find out who they are. But the important thing is that you can't, uh, I believe you can't unwrite history. Uh, uh, these are the people who brought the allegations forward and, and, uh, and their stories have to be told. This was a dramatic downfall of a Canadian celebrity. What will people learn about Gian Gomeshi that they didn't already know from the accusations and then the trial? I think they'll, they'll learn that these allegations go back to uh, when he was at York University and I, I trace uh, his, his career through that time and, and uh, uh, there are uh, these the stories from the 17 women and, and, and two men and others who knew him uh, certainly date back to uh, the, the time uh, uh, when he was a, a student, the head of the, uh, the student government and I think they'll learn that uh, had somebody spoken up during that time uh, uh, this sort of behavior could have been stopped and uh, we would have been saved a, a lot of uh, grief. And is that a question that was answered for you in investigating and in writing this book? Why didn't people come forward sooner? I, I think that this is a, a this allegation of sexual uh, and physical violence is something that uh, carries with it a, a, a unfortunately a, a stigma uh, people don't want to uh, they don't want to ever have to deal with a trial uh, they don't want their friends and neighbors to know uh, that uh, this happened to them and uh, it's a, a it's a, a difficult thing for people to deal with it's it's uh, different than many of the other crimes in society where people are more open about talking about them and I think uh, you know hopefully over time uh, that stigma will lessen but right now it's very prominent and I, I, I do fear that the result of the of the trial is that uh, uh, because of, uh, of, the, of the treatment that the women uh, who testified were, were given uh, by a very good defense counsel there will be a time now where people will be even uh, less interested in coming forward. And any good journalist tries to get all sides. Did you reach out to Gian Gomeshi to get his side of the story? Yes, I have reached out to Mr. Gomeshi uh, 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 quite frequently uh, for this book and, and certainly for the work I did uh, uh, doing the stories for the Toronto Star and uh, you know beyond my uh, one time uh, running with him at a, uh, at a dinner and, uh, and letters from his lawyers, uh, uh, he remained silent on, these, uh, on the full uh, issues that uh, are presented in the book. Hmm. And uh, final question to you following the trial, a lot of people wondered what he would do next, how he would try to rehabilitate his career. Do you have any update on that? What is he doing? Well, he's been seen from time to time in Toronto, particularly in the beach area of uh, the eastern part of Toronto on the waterfront where he lives. Uh, I've not heard that he's uh, working anywhere. Uh, I suspect that he would have to uh, come forward and make a, a, a pretty um, intense apology uh, and, and take ownership of, of what he's done uh, before he could ever consider uh, being on radio again and I, even then I doubt that to be in Canada it would probably have to be somewhere outside of the country. Kevin Donegan, good luck with the book. Thanks so much for being with us.